Spring is here and that means it's time for this year's annual Coronado Flower Show, the 102nd one this year. Welcome back to the four, everybody. I'm Jesse Pagan, joined by Kelly with the Coronado Flower Association and Leslie, who's a master gardener. We've got a spread right around here. We're going to be talking about everything that you're going to be able to see and do this weekend at the flower show. Kelly, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about the flower show, 102nd one of them. What do you think about that? We are very excited to have our 102nd year. Uh, the theme this year is Ocean of Flowers, yeah. which is going to incorporate into all of the ways you can enter the flower show. Um, we use our theme to create all the different categories. We create all the um, brochures yep. and stuff that goes with it to go with the theme. The party that night is Ocean Electric. Ooh. So we're going to turn it into this neon vibe of yeah. ocean for that. So the whole thing is, we're very excited. That's exciting. Now, tell me, we've been doing this for years. This is a long time Coronado tradition, back yes. into the early 1900s. How have you seen it or even have read about or heard about the show changing in all these decades since? Oh, it's changed a lot. Yeah. How so? <laughs> as, the, as the islands change, it's changed. We try and innovate and create new ideas every mm -hmm. year. Um, one of the ideas is that party during the night, the home front judging where we actually go right. to, yeah, each yeah. individual home, business, church, school, yeah. everywhere they get awarded a red, yellow, or blue ribbon. We have a top 10. Um, we're adding a garden tour this year where you can go and look at the top 10 houses. We have a live um, painting happening at that house and music and food. And so we're always trying to kind of up it a little and make it more fun food, yeah. fun fun cocktails, fun music, get How more people to attend. How does the home front judging competition get? <laughs> Driving around Coronado, you can just tell. The yards are beautiful, the homes are beautiful. People really put some effort put into some it. Effort so into I it. have to imagine that there's a little bit duking it out on yes. the island yes. over who wins. Over How who intense. wins. It gets pretty crazy. Yeah. And people have a lot of opinions and we try and be very diplomatic about it. We uh -huh. have a whole process we use. We drive around in golf carts yeah. and we have our little <laughs> lanyards and our clipboards. We walk up so very we look official. professional. Yep. I love it. Leslie, yes. you are a master gardener. Tell me, are you are you trying to help people win their yards or you're like, no, I'm coming through. I'm winning with my yard. <laughs> well, I compete as well. I live in Coronado, too. Um, I am a, a University of California certified master gardener and uh, we master gardeners will be at the flower show yep. to to give information, to answer questions. And we're going to have our tool sharpening crew there. So it's a lot of a lot of things going on at the show, but I will be entering and um, I'm here to Kind yeah. of show some You're ideas. You're the master of, of this table. Tell me, what do we got here and what are we doing here? Well, I've got a lot of plants here and some need to be prepped before they go into the show. This has a lot of dead leaves and things, so mm -hmm. I need to tidy that up. Um, this pot probably needs a little more soil in it, so I'll just kind of tidy that up and get it ready to go. How can you tell that it needs a little bit more soil it for just, those of us that are not uh, plant inclined? Well, uh, secret be told, I fell over in the car. <laughs> 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 um, but also, I also want to clean the pot off mm -hmm. before I take it to the show so, that's, so that it's presenting well and it looks good for the show and the judges. Now, as someone who, Master Gardener, you've competed in years past, you've been involved with the show for a while now. What do people look for when they're judging and what will make people kind of stand out in the competitions? Um, judging is very serious. Yeah. We are under the National Garden Club's mm -hmm. rules and the judges are trained by National Garden Club. So there's a very strict point system that's followed. Um, peak of perfection when a plant is just looking its best, like my flowers right now are blooming. So <laughs> that's why I'm going to enter this one. Yeah. Um, just the unusual plants themselves. Uh, if I took this one in with the weeds and all that, this is, they would just ignore this. <laughs> and, um, and you really need to make sure you have no bugs on your flowers. There you go. Yeah. So you got to so, be very specific. And very specific. Follow the rules. Yes. yes all right. Yes. Kelly, real quick, we've got, it's this weekend, 20th and 21st. Tell me a little bit about uh, dates, times, location, tickets, all that good stuff. Where can yes. people get information? It's in Spreckles Park, which yep. is right on orange um, it is uh, a one to five on Saturday 10 to 4 on Sunday mm -hmm. uh, you can get tickets on coronadoflowershow.com okay. um, or you can buy tickets at the door there you go so and we'll be ready for you ten dollars I believe yeah, and people, kids under 17 get in for free yeah all right this year's hundred and second annual Coronado flower show where you can Go check out the flowers. Go compete if you'd like to. Judge them yourself with your own criteria in your head. Whatever you'd like to do. It's going to be a beautiful weekend for that. So there you have it. All the information on their website or head to cbs8.com to get all that. Steve?